Um, for those of you watching, thank you so much for watching. Hey, Crazy Freddy's Reefs. Crazy Freddy's Reefs. Reminds me of Crazy Eddie's. Those of you in Chicago remember that Crazy Eddie, he was a car salesman. He had crazy deals back in the 80s. Um, so, I don't have my glasses on. Smithy, what's up, dude? Starkiller86. London, he's in London. I love London. You know what I... Is that by Manchester? I absolutely love Manchester. I wish I had that accent that they do in London. Anyway, I'm chatting with my good pals, subscribers on RotterTube Brief. Thanks for joining. Uh, the tank is just waking up. Um, and I want to remind you guys, check out the Facebook group, RotterTube Brief. The link is in all video descriptions, or the recent ones anyway. Really cool forum. We've got over 150 subscribers to that in about a week and a half's time. It's been a lot of fun. People post photos, they ask questions, they answer questions for other people, and there's no jerks in there. If any jerk shows up, they're gone. Um, Bob Etcher, you guys know him. He's a moderator of the forum. Um, the forum. Facebook group. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today is, also thanks for subscribing, please click the like button and subscribe if you dig the channel. Today, you know, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to talk about, but I was curious to see what the nitrates are like in the tank. Using the Nopox by Red Sea, right? Now, Will Santiago again was kind enough to get me a little Amazon cash, so I picked this up at his recommendation. Thank you again, Will. So I'm just going to briefly, for those of you, because I don't like videos that they start talking about the H248 valve connected to the Z78 spinner. You're like, what the hell are they talking about? So we're talking about nitrates today. And basically, just long and short of it, I've got other videos on this. If you guys are chatting with each other, I'm not really looking at that right now. I'm looking at the tank. I'm just concentrating on what I'm telling you, you guys. So basically how it works is this, it's really pretty simple. Um, if you have water in any kind of container outside, let's say, it's going to get stagnant. Okay, that can happen in your aquarium. Now there's a lot of things in your aquarium that will happen to prevent that from happening. Bacteria is the biggest and best thing you can have in your aquarium. You think bacteria is bad? Well there's good bacteria and there's bad bacteria. Bacteria is notorious for feeding on things what it does it's a low life organism in your saltwater aquarium bacteria will get rid of the ammonia in your tank the ammonia is in urine and fish urine and there's fish in there and ammonia ramps up really really fast in fact if there was no bacteria in this tank these fish would be dead in a day so Bacteria breaks the ammonia down into nitrites. You've maybe heard that if you go to the local fish store, reef store. Nitrites are not so dangerous to fish at all. Nitrites will then be broken down into nitrates. Nitrates are not harmful to fish at all either. You want to keep your nitrates between zero and five. All right, with a test kit, we're going to be testing for nitrates again live today. Um, corals, what's going on all you, okay, Rob, what's up, dude? Rob's in the house, Rob. Um, nitrates are the last in the circle. You want to keep them between zero and five. Again, fish can survive in really high nitrate situations, but it's not good for the water chemistry. It's not good for your coral if you have tank with coral in it. Some coral do better with high nitrates than others. The star polyps the green grass flowing really nice it's my favorite coral it's what really made me want to get into the hobby that along with hey tim what's up hey king rob what's up two robs are in the house um clownfish and star polyps really really kind of forced me into this hobby i would never really thought about getting into salt water aquariums it was always in the back of my mind but after making a few frequent visits to the shed aquarium in chicago awesome awesome aquarium by the way if you are in Chicago 
it forced me into the hobby. So anyway, getting off track, um, star polyps do pretty well in high nitrate environments. Your corals are also going to be like a test. They're going to let you know how your water's kind of doing. You can tell by looking at your coral. My star polyps tend to be not straight blades of grass like they are right now. Uh, Dave, I've got my coffee too. I'll get it in a second. Dave, how you doing, man? Uh, Billy, Billy Pipes. Hi, man. What's up, dude? Um, if you need uh, stands or anything built, Billy Pipes is your man. He does that stuff really well. So, um, so what we're going to do, okay, now that you've got like high nitrates in your tank, you get high nitrates in your tank. All you senior reefers know this, the beginners may not. High nitrates can be caused by too many fish in your tank. I kind of have too many fish in my tank, but I love them, so I'm going to have them, so screw it. You guys just have to take care of the tank more. These tank fish are pollution, 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 pollution machines. They go to the bathroom a lot and they eat a lot. That's going to cause high nitrates. Also, the more fish you have, the more you're going to feed your tank. Overfeeding is going to cause high nitrates. I don't really overfeed. I feed them once a day. Cool, Billy, I'm glad you stopped by. Awesome to see you, dude. Um... But I've got more fish, so I have to feed more. So what do you do? I vacuum the sand. You do water changes. People say do water changes weekly. I do. I do a 10 to 15 gallon water change weekly in the 125 gallon aquarium. That's not going to be enough to lower these nitrates. Effectively, you've got to do a 50% water change to put a good dent in it. Otherwise, you're just basically replacing the trace elements like Trace elements are calcium and alkalinity and all that good stuff. Magnesium in the water, these fish need that stuff in there. People who do not do water changes, they supplement their water with these trace elements. They dose things, that's what they say, I'm dosing. I don't have the money to dose things, it's easier to do water changes for me. And I like the thought of putting fresh salt water in there. So, all that said and done, I still have high nitrates. So what I do is, I literally dose sugar table sugar off your from your kitchen i put two teaspoons in here every day either directly in the tank or in the sump again kids if you're going to sugar dose which is known as carbon dosing you can dose vodka that's carbon dosing sugar white vinegar um and i tried all that stuff and you know what works best for me sugar dosing it knocks down my nitrates and it keeps them down um, I love sugar. I'll probably be going back to it, but in the meantime, segue up to this, Red Sea Nopox. People have um, just raved on this stuff, man, and it's awesome. It smells really potent. It's got a warning flammable on the back. Of course, you don't really need that unless you're a dummy because when you open this, it just reeks of turpentine. This stuff is really potent. So for my tank, I'm dosing... 15 milliliters a day and this bottle does last quite a long time so this is week two week two of dosing the red sea no pox i'm gonna get my coffee talk amongst yourselves and uh we're gonna do this test with an api test kit i know a lot of you guys don't like the api test kits but i love them i put it back to back with the red sea and guess what tests are always the same so let me get my coffee Good to see you guys, those of you who are live in the chat. Hang out with each other for a few minutes. And those of you who are watching this after it's recorded live, enjoy the fish.
Alright, I got the coffee. Let me get the test kit. You know what I'm going to do to you guys? I know this is kind of silly to a lot of people, and it kind of is, but it works really great. Um, on the top, I got rid of my glass lids. I hated them. Because light doesn't get through the glass as much. When that salt creep, the salt water splashes up, they get dirty really quick. I got tired of taking the glass lids outside, hosing them down. In the winter time, it's more difficult. Anyway, I put egg crate on the top. And that's really great, but it's also a light diffuser, as you guys know, because it's what you use in ceiling tiles. So that's gonna be going away. And I'm gonna put really thin mesh that I got from Bulk Reef Supply. I really wish I could have these off permanently, but I'm afraid my guys will jump out. And the reason I want to get rid of these is because, like I said, less light hits the tank. And it's fine if you have just fish, but with the coral, the coral need that light. And I've got really nice T5 lighting. So I want to utilize as much light as I can, and this is just blocking it. So maybe today, if I have time, I have to build that netting. I mean, that's just so much brighter. It looks great, man. I would love to not have any tops on here at all, but I don't really trust these guys. I've had a clownfish jump out of my quarantine. I've had a clownfish jump out of my JBJ45 when I had it. And then a clownfish jump out of my 75. I had one of these clownfish jump out twice in this tank. And I saw him on the floor. I thought he was a Lego. And I'm like, what are these kids? They're leaving the Legos around again. And he was laying out there for like 30 seconds before I realized it was a Picasso clown. I picked him up and I put him in and he's still alive. So, but man, I hate that. All right, so I'm using a nitrate test by API. By the way, if you're gonna do carbon dosing of any kind, you've gotta have a protein skimmer. You've gotta have it. People ask me all the time, can I do carbon dosing in my JBJ aquarium? I'm like, for one, those are small aquariums. I don't really recommend it. Just do a 50% water change. It's gonna be like 10 gallons. That's awesome. I've never had problems with high nitrates in a smaller tank. So I got my two bottles here. Now, before we start, um, two weeks ago, Hydro Guy, he says it depends how much I'm 12, I can't afford much. You know what, dude? You're 12? Dude, how awesome is it that you have this technology that I'm talking to you from Chicago and you're 12? When I was 12, we didn't even have cable TV. Cable TV just came out. There was no internet, there was no cell phones, there was no online gaming. Can you imagine that? Well, I'll tell you what, the world was a much better place and I loved it. Okay, that's off the topic. So, I'm 45 and I still can't afford it. <laughs> okay, here we go. So two weeks ago before I started this Red Sea Nopox, nitrates were at 30, pushing 40. 40, all right? A week of using the Red Sea. Um, I think we got it down to 10 last week, right kids? Yeah, it was down to 10. Okay. Yeah, Ed, I have a brick phone here somewhere, man. The good old days when you paid like a dollar twenty-five a minute. Yeah, that was great. Dot matrix display. Okay, here we go. Let me take this. Yeah, Hydro, you're right. We'll probably have things from Star Wars. All right, so what I'm gonna do is this test, and I'll chat with you guys while we're waiting for the results here. So I'm gonna take five mils of water to test with, and they're gonna think it's feeding time. They're gonna come up, probably. I got so much to do today, you guys. 
those of you who follow me on Facebook, you know I've got like clients all over the world for video editing. I'm a video editor, I've been doing it for 25 years. I've got like 39 videos I have to finish today. So after this, I'm gonna go in the studio and I probably won't resurface till Sunday night. But I am gonna be looking at, I've been looking at getting a blue tang. I'm, I'm shopping around. Um, I'm gonna quarantine them for six or seven weeks, eight weeks maybe. More information on that later. Put 10 drops of this in. I like doing these live uh, shows. They may be a little long, and honest, if I saw a show this long, a video this long on YouTube, I may not watch it and listen to it in the background all the way through, you know? But I like it when it's actually happening because you guys get to chat with each other. It's not as cool when someone's just watching it, but it's really very cool, I think, during when you guys can all hang out and I can see occasional messages pop up. You guys can ask questions in real time of each other too. Which I really like. Atari 7200, I saw that. I had an Atari, tw I did not have an Atari 2600. My parents never got it, so I had to like go play in friends' basements across the street and stuff in the old neighborhood. But we did have ColecoVision, and then everybody came to us. There was Atari 2600 and television, and then ColecoVision. We had ColecoVision with the Atari 2600 module, and then I had a Commodore 64. Damn, I miss those days, man. I mean, I love technology. All right, I'm so glad. I'm so glad for this community. I love seeing you guys chat with each other, and the Facebook group is a lot of fun. Don't forget to join that on Facebook, where you can post pictures, ask questions, everything. It's awesome. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. All right, so we're gonna put 10 drops of this. Shake this up. I love the way that tank looks with no lids, man. I gotta get that netting up today. I gotta get that netting up today. Again, I would love to have no lids on that tank. Hey, Will, what's up, dude? <clears throat> Will was almost banned from the channel because um, he was kind enough to send the Red Sea no packs. Thank you again so much, dude. Um, you're awesome. But if it didn't work, I told him he'd have to be banned from the channel. Luckily, his ass got saved last week when I went from 30, almost pushing 40, to 10. So now we're going to see what it is after two weeks. Now, why would I buy Red Sea? Well, Will promised that if it works, he'll continually purchase the Red Sea on a monthly basis, or uh, bi monthly basis for me, so that's awesome. But if you're poor like me, you can just use sugar. Yeah, I wouldn't give your address away. I don't give my address away either, and you should never. I got a P.O. box. All right. So let's let this wait for a minute, five minutes, time it. Somebody put five minutes on the clock. We're gonna let this sit for five minutes. These API test kits are cool. They have directions on the back of the cards and they have 
a color match chart which we're gonna match take a little coffee break the no pox is like Yeah, Dave thinks he's got my address. By the way, everybody, I also have Dave's address. <laughs> and I'll give it out for free. I won't even charge five bucks like Dave is for mine. So next video, be on the lookout. Title screen will be Dave's address. <laughs> so, I really love this stuff. I really do. Um, There's no pox by Red Sea. And like Will said, it lasts a long time. I mean, all right, I'll dose it right now. <clears throat> now, with the Red Sea, it comes with an instruction booklet. They talk about the product. They tell you how much to dose. It's really easy. Um, when you measure a certain amount of nitrate levels, they tell you what to dose. They got a really nice, easy to use measuring cup. For me, daily, it's right here. So it's like a fifth of this whole cup. So it's gonna last quite a while. And this, after two weeks, it's about, it's down to there. So this is two weeks. So basically you're gonna get a month or five weeks out of this whole bottle if you have to dose the 15 milliliters daily. So this bottle, if you've got high nitrates, in about two weeks it's gonna knock down, all right? And then you only have to dose daily like five mils so like will said this is going to last quite a long time once you get your nitrates under control i could easily see this bottle lasting like two months so probably half a bottle to knock it down in the course of two weeks another half a bottle to keep it in check for another month and then get another so you're probably looking at this bottle lasting a month and a half is it five minutes yet? Let me dose this and then we'll look at the results. So I'm just gonna pour it right in the tank. All right. All right, I can't remember, it's still kind of early. So like I said, two weeks ago, I was pushing 40 with the nitrates. You gotta have zero to five for your coral, okay? And then a week of this stuff, it got me down to like 10. So this is the second week, I was really curious to see. So let's see right now, see what we got. Yeah, Michigan fan, yeah. He says he pours whatever he doses over the power head, and that's really, really good idea. The power head is what blows the water and makes the current so it goes through the tank. All right, let's see these results. pretty good to me I just packed it away that was really smart I need the card I'm sure we'll be able to tell without the card you guys I'm okay what do you guys think looks a lot more yellow than last week It 
looks pretty good to me. And then here's the card. Whoa, you guys, look at that. What do you guys think? All right, Rob, I'll, I'll give you Dave's address once your check clears. 50 bucks, no problem. I think that's zero. So, I was stuck at 20 or between 20 and 40 right here for weeks. I stopped the sugar dosing. And then one week of this. Now, if you do sugar dosing, you're going to be at this in two weeks. Guaranteed. I do it every time. So sugar works great, but I wanted to try the Red Sea. I've tried other things. Red Sea is the way to go, you guys. This is exactly where you want to be. Someone just said it's a two. It's not quite bright yellow for zero. But this is where you want to be. And it's definitely not at five. Sometimes you're like, oh, I really can't tell what it is. But what, when it is what it is, you, you could tell it's definitely between zero and five, and that's what you want. So now, today, I'm gonna start dosing the five mils to keep it in check.